cemetery of waterfront homes called Yacht Club Estates. And both of these areas off either side of us are all for the most part man-made land, just like I described earlier, being developed with that dredge and fill method back in the 40s and 50s. Then straight out in front of us where you can see those condominiums, that's the northernmost town of St. Pete Beach. And if we're to bear on off to the right up there at those condos, that would take us out into Pine Pass. That's a long, narrow stretch of water that separates St. Pete Beach from Treasure Island. That'll give us access to the Gulf of Mexico from here. But we're going to be bearing off to the left up there and continuing on down to the south through the intercoastal waterway. That's the name of this channel that we're running in right now. It's marked off with these red and green markers. And we'll be running, running along at this speed for about the next 10 or 15 minutes. Like I say, it's a minimum wake area through this stretch. This minimum wake zone is going to extend on out to about half a mile beyond the next drawbridge, which is called the Quarry Causeway. Once we're out of this minimum wake area, we're going to pick up the pace a bit.